Hello again and welcome to my travel sketchbook. Today I'm going to show you some of my first Antarctica sketchbooks. So the paper is not great, but it was what I had on the ship at the time as I work as an expedition artist on board. So I would just like to show you more or less what I did when I was there. Just always the first impressions. You can see the book is falling apart a bit, wasn't the best quality, but this book is really special to me as, uh, as I said, it was my first little book. Deception Island, part of the uh, Antarctic Peninsula and the South Shetland Islands. Uh, this was coming through the, through the entrance of the caldera. Brown Bluff, a gorgeous, gorgeous part uh, of the, the Weddell Sea. And this is where I did my first polar plunge with icebergs in the water or boogie bits or little little bits of ice in the water. A deli and gentoo penguins running around. Very, very special place in my heart. Tabular icebergs and the most spectacular sunsets that you will ever imagine. This was at Des Moines Point. Uh, just the colors are unbelievable. At the bottom, this is a uh, wordy house, but uh, from just across the, the bay is uh, Vineski and one of the British Antarctic survey bases. Peterman Island, a firm favorite. As you can see, I've sketched that on both sides here. This very first watercolor was the same place. I just love the big rocks in the foreground and it remains remains a, a favorite when I go and visit. Some of the different landings, again Peterman as you're coming up with the zodiacs, Paradise Bay. This really could be a little place in Switzerland when you climb up to the top of the, the peak. You can do great slides down on your bum and uh, look, the little views of the Argentine base there. You can almost imagine that you were in Europe in the Alps. Hannah Point on the right, uh, very lucky to have gone there because it's often closed for a long time of the year. And Penguin Island on the left, which is an old volcano as well, a very arid type of uh, landscape, but gorgeous views of icebergs and everything on all the islands from the top. Some golfin gull gulls from Ushuaia, which is the most southern sort of port from Argentina, where the ships normally leave from, and the various birds I saw the, on that first trip. Couverville on the right. I remember sitting up there with catabatic winds. Quite interesting. Des Moines Point again. Absolutely spectacular skies. I think this was one of the days we had a wonderful barbecue on deck. Very special. Portal Point, where the ship anchors all the way around on the other side of the of the bay, and then we come in with the zodiacs to bring the guests to the to the shore and some wonderful walking points. This was a uh, Weddell Sea seal. Uh, Jugular Point from Port Lockroy. Port Lockroy is another Antarctic survey base. Uh, the mountains here are called I think they're called the Seven Sisters. Uh, fantastic uh, little walkway here to some whale bones, a cormorant uh, colony. Then you go around the corner to Port Lockroy where there's the Penguin Post Office. If you've heard of the Penguin Post Office, uh, it is from this little island. A great little shop where all funds go to the historical site there. Couverville with one of the ships in the background. Just a lonely macaroni. This macaroni was uh, at Half Moon Bay. It somehow, I think it got lost many years ago and I ended up in a, with a colony of chin straps, but seemed to be quite happy there. And uh, heading towards the Falkland Islands from Ushuaia, many of the albatross and uh, giant petrels flying at the back of the ship. New Island in the Falklands. Thousands and thousands of black-browed albatross, rockhoppers, uh, fantastic walks towards the colonies. 
And this reminds me very much of the Shetlands or the Orkney Islands uh, and parts of Scotland. I absolutely love the Falkland Islands. Very special. West Point Island from the uh, black-browed albatross colony. Looking out to sea. This one didn't quite get finished. It started uh, snowing. This, this is when Shackleton uh, eventually reached the, uh, the island of South Georgia, did the hike over the mountain, came down here and walked across to uh, Stromness to get help for the men that had been left behind in Elephant Island. If you haven't read that or heard about those stories, just Google uh, Shackleton's Journey or Shackleton and you will get the most fantastic expedition history stories, uh, real life stories of just extreme bravery and um, lots of adventure. Fortuna Bay, South Georgia. South Georgia belongs to the UK. About a day and a half sailing from uh, the Falklands and just hundreds of thousands of king penguins wherever you look. It is the most spectacular place I think I have ever seen and experienced. Wildlife experience like you can't believe. And the last one, Port Lockray, uh, base A. So from here, I showed you the earlier viewpoint to the Seven Sisters. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I have got more of Antarctica and the Arctic of my expedition travels to come.